Hey everyone, it's Dragon Age Day again, and right now, we just spawned um, the start of the game, but we are already under attack. I guess we, um, uh, the place where we exited the game <laughs> isn't a very, a very safe space to do that. <laughs> we chose the wrong area. Who um finished the game last time? Sadly. But here we are, and we managed to defeat everyone. Every single um person. And we are looting their valuables. There isn't much to loot. Just a few um, crafting materials and some equipment. Let's see if there's anything that we just picked up that can... Uh, oh, we have this. Shards, uh, shard shield. That's going to make us a bit stronger. Okay, how about Cassandra? We have this reinforced shield for her. Um, Solus doesn't use shields, he's a mage. But we can use this shocking staff. So that he's a bit more capable of defeating the enemies. Varric. Oh, this one's better. Much better. Keep your eye staff. It's a blue one. That means it's better than the gray ones. With Varric, we are definitely gonna keep Bianca. Bianca with him. But how about his um, equipment? His his armor? Okay, we, he didn't actually have a, t uh, a helmet. <laughs> it's a good thing that we equipped him with a helmet just now. Um... We are going to ignore the other blue armor <laughs> because that is from a DLC, I think. One of those deluxe edition freebies. For us, we are still going to stay with this probably, but we also have a defender mail. But I don't think that's, that's a good one. That might not be a good one. Okay, I think... We just need to go over there, um, the accessories and choose some rings and necklaces. I think it's two, two rings, a necklace and a belt for our companions. It's nice that we did pick up some blue ones. How about... This one. Amulet of magic for him. Because he's a mage. And we have another loot here. Some decorative gems. I don't even think we need them anymore. <laughs> uh, we might need some velveteen, but not... The decorative gems, I think we have enough of those. I'm not really sure if um, they're going to appear in our inventory later to sell. Probably. Okay, we still have two apostate caches to, to find and mark. Because in our last episode, we stopped after having um, found a third one. Because I think I had to go grocery shopping or something <laughs> that day. Okay, we do need more velveteen for that requisition. Um, let's go this way. I love all these ruins. They look nice. Hello there, Ram. A 
And I'm not really sure, but these ruins kind of look like they could have been elf elvish ruins, but probably not. I am not very familiar with um, the history of Thedas, but after this, Thank you again. Oh, you're welcome. After this, I will definitely be, be um, watching the video. The Inquisition found more food. Ata, oh, here's a family of refugees. Such a mouthy child. <laughs> <laughs> Grumpy grandma. It's nice to see that we have, we have helped a family of refugees here. But as I was saying, I am going to be watching the videos that I linked to in um, our last episode. I still haven't um, watched them. I haven't found the time to watch them because I've been busy with some RL things. I I was sick for two days. <laughs> and it wasn't the cold. It was some other nerve issues. And yesterday I had... I didn't get enough sleep. But, um, probably after. Oh, here. Yay. We found a fourth one. For recruit Whittle. We shall be finishing this, this quest soon, very soon. Yes, I will be kind of like reintroducing myself, <laughs> reteaching myself. The lore through the help of the videos that I shared with you in our last episode. And I still haven't really <laughs> learned how to pronounce her um, channel name. Um, but I'm 100% I'm, I'm sure it's, it's pronounced Gil, the first word. <laughs> But I am very excited for Veilguard. Whoa, he just teleported there. These Templars are strong. I want some of their skills. Hit, hit. I can't believe that I'm not doing much damage to them. They're, they're probably wearing very thick armor. Even when I'm using my abilities, I deal up to 48, 47 damage. And when I'm just hitting them, I deal up to, like with light attacks, I deal up to like 18 damage. <laughs> I don't know why, but like I said, in our previous episodes, we are still in the beginning um, part of the game and we shall be powering up, leveling up, and picking up more uh, appropriate <laughs> equipment so that we can make our character stronger. Whoops! <laughs> Like in the back of my mind, I'm still playing as a, an archer. <laughs> there we go. We always have barrack. For when I'm feeling... Um, like doing some... Some long range damage there. Whoops. So, um... Aside from this game, Dragon Age Inquisition, I have been playing uh, another game in private, um, which I will not be streaming or, you know, uh, making edited, narrated playthroughs of. Um, usually when I play a new game for the first time, I just feel like doing it alone <laughs> so that I can... Whoa, here we are. Here's our final. Gosh, we can now go back to recruit Whittle to turn it in. I just feel like, um, whoa, 
look at that it's soulless i just feel like um maybe let's fast travel so that we can save some time i just feel like um trying to understand the game first before you know thinking whether or not i should stream a game because i don't want to kind of like waste time trying to understand the mechanics of a game <laughs> during a stream because that would be oh that would be a headache and that wouldn't be very entertaining for you people thank you okay we have here the corporal you're with the inquisition corporal vale thanks for your help the majors and templars don't seem to care who gets caught in their war the refugees here are in dire need of help. Okay. If the war doesn't kill them, cold or starvation will. Let's ask him some questions. What other problems do these refugees face? We've got some injuries that go beyond stitches and elf fruit. I know healers are in short supply. But if you can find someone in Redcliffe to help us, it would save a lot of lives. Okay, we shall do that. What can you tell me about the Templars? All the Templars were called the Val Royale not long ago. These bastards ignored the order. Now they're killing rebel mages, along with any refugees they think are mage sympathizers. Every Templar I've ever known has wanted to protect the common folk. These men defile their order's good name. Yes, that, uh, he's talking about the renegade about the Templars. Mages? The real rebels are up north in Redcliffe, dug in and taking care of their own. The ones out here are just apostates. Locked up in the circles all these years, and now they've gone mad with power. The rebels in Redcliffe have washed their hands of them. I wish we could do the same. What can you tell me about the man who's supposed to be getting horses for the Inquisition? Horsemaster Dennett. He lives on a farm to the west. Tough old fella. We haven't heard from him. Best we can tell, he's old up until the Majors and Templars are done killing each other. Okay. Farewell. And you as well. Powers. Stabilize areas by sealing fate trips. Expand your reach of Inquisition by setting up new camps and complete quests to gain power and influence. Alrighty. So our main quest now here is to um, get the help of Horus Master Dennett. But he'll only help us once we've Stop the war in this area. Who is this? Having a good day? What is this place? Map making tenderfoots named this the hinterlands. Uh, but right here, there's nowhere. Just some fields, and now a bunch of demons. I'm Giles, by the way. Nice to meet you, Giles. I need to be on my way. Make a watch over you then. I wonder if he's gonna be someone that we need to. Talk to for a quest. Let us um, try to turn in this quest here. I believe we found this person's lover um, in a previous. Oh, here, let's go to talk, talk to Whittle first. I found some of the apostate supply stores. I can mark the locations for you. I'll get out there myself with a few men and pick them up. Alrighty. Keep a lot more refugees alive next time it snows. I appreciate it. Okay, good Got working with you. Bundled up nice and warm. I'm glad that we were able to help the refugees. Um, I feel like. We probably should go back to Haven today before we do the other quests. Um, the rest of the hinterlands. Just because we've accumulated accumulated enough power to do a few things. Um, this is the world map. And right now we are in the sub southeast. And let's go back to Haven for a while. To check on our advisors, as I mentioned in the previous um, episode. 
and see how Mother Giselle is doing. Okay. Maybe we can still see the breach there. It's still reverberating. And green, a sickly green collar. A magical green collar. We have Cassandra here. Let's talk to her. She's training with these dummies. And calm down. <laughs> She's kind of a hothead. Um, we have a flirt option there. Um, let's be friendly. Worried? Is it that obvious? I'm afraid so. Did I do the right thing? What I have set in motion here could destroy everything I have revered my whole life. One day they may write about me as a traitor, a madwoman, a fool, and they may be right. Let's ask her some questions. What do you believe in? What does your faith tell you? I believe you are innocent. I believe more is going on here than we can see. And I believe no one else cares to do anything about it. They will stand in the fire and complain that it is hot. But is this the Maker's will? I can only guess. Um... You don't think I'm the Herald of Andraste? I think you were sent to help us. I hope you were. Oh, yeah. But the Maker's help takes many forms. Sometimes it's difficult to discern who it truly benefits or how. Um, what happens next? What's going to happen now? Now, we deal with the Chantry's panic over you before they do even more harm. <laughs> then we close the breach. We are the only ones who can. <laughs> After that, we find out who is responsible for this chaos, and we end them. Mm, sounds like a good plan. And if there are consequences to be paid for what I have done, I pay them. Um, I, I can't see your face. <laughs> I can't, that camera angle was a bit weird. You didn't have any choice, didn't I? My trainers always said, Cassandra, you are too brash. You must think before you act. I see what must be done, and I do it. I see no point in running around in circles like a dog chasing its tail. But I misjudged you in the beginning, did I not? I thought the answer was before me, clear as day. Well, that was I a learning experience to be for so you. Careless again. <laughs> yeah, you had cause. It wasn't like you had no reason to suspect me. I was determined to have someone answer for what happened. Anyone. Well, at least you gave us a chance. You've said you don't believe you're chosen. Does that mean you also don't believe in the Maker? Um, I don't really know. I can't really say. I suppose it doesn't matter now. I have to believe we were put on this path for a reason, even if you do not. Now it simply remains to see where it leads us. Alrighty. Let's try to talk to her again so we can ask her more in-depth questions. I don't actually know much about you. What do you want to know? I'm not sure. Where are you from? Um, let's talk. Okay, let's ask her first. <laughs> I suppose I could ask Liliana. She has collected a frightening amount of information on you. As expected. I, want <laughs> I want to hear it from you. Yeah, we're from Ostwick. And that's where most of my family is. The Trevelyans, is it not? A large clan with a rather clever coat of arms. Tell me, do you consider the free march as your home? Are you eager to go back? Um, uh, let's choose number four. Home is wherever the heart is or something like that. <laughs> I'm okay wherever with it. That's how I feel now, after years of tending to business for the Divine. Oh, good. We have something in common then. I'd like to get to know you better. You would? Is that a problem? Not entirely. 
I'm just curious. Hmm, she's she's quite guarded. Just just being friendly. No motivation beyond making things between us less antagonistic. Yeah, that exactly. would be better. As you wish. My name is Cassandra Pentecost. Daughter of the royal house of Navarra, 78th in line for the Navarran throne. Oh, wow. I joined the Seekers of Truth as a young We're both woman nobles. and was with the Order until they withdrew from the Chantry. I remained as the Divine's right hand, carrying out her order to form the Inquisition. And here we are. That's all there is to know, my lady. Wow. You're a Navarran royalty? You're a member of Navarra's royal family. The Pentagasts are a very large clan. Half of Cumberland could say the same. Really? No, but it feels that way. I have hundreds of relatives so distant they need charts to prove we're related at all. You need and ancestry. <laughs> oh yes. The Pentagasts value their precious blood like it runs with You gold. need a DNA test and build your family tree online. <laughs> and you joined the Seekers to get away from them. It was a life worth getting away from. The Pentagasts are famed for dragon hunting. Oh, wow. But few actually pursue the craft. Most are fat and lazy. They pay lip service to the Maker and care only for idle pleasures and past glories. My brother was all that kept me in Navarra. Once he was gone... What so happened was... to him? Tell me about your brother. I would prefer not to speak of Antony. Ooh. Another time, perhaps. Well, I wonder what happened to, to her brother. You don't seem to like your homeland much. My family polluted it for me. What little I saw of my homeland was through the bars of a gilded cage. My uncle treated me like a porcelain doll to be placed on a shelf and dusted only when necessary. I can Thus, relate. I did not see Navarra. <laughs> the real Navarra until much later. By then, I realized I knew it not at all. Uh, I can very much relate. <laughs> your uncle? What about your parents? They had the misfortune of taking the wrong side in the second attempt to overthrow King Marcus. Mm, the political. King them, but spared my brother and I since we were family and children at the time. Mm. Thus, we were raised by my uncle, a mortalitasi who preferred the company of his corpses to the living. Okay, let's learn more about their your culture. Your was a mortalitasi? A death mage. Mm. He still is. My countrymen do not burn the dead. They bury them in special crypts. The mortalitasi supervise the crypts, like priests. Uncle Vestalis oversees the grand necropolis. Nevarans spend more time honoring dead relatives than they do with living ones. And that reminds me it of dark elf culture so and with all in the other scrolls. I will never understand it. So you are the right hand to the Divine? To Divine Justinia, yes. And Divine Beatrix before her, in fact. Oh, the wow. position is normally reserved for Templars of the Knights Divine. But my circumstances were unusual. Unusual how? You don't know the story? Thank the Maker. The story? I will tell you if you wish. But it isn't as exciting as some drum it up to be. Mm. The short version is that I once saved the previous divine's life. My reward was becoming her right hand. Wow, that's that's a big deal. But what does a right hand do exactly? What is your hand capable of? It gives, it takes, it beckons, it makes a fist. Liliana and I extended the divine's reach beyond the Grand Cathedral. Mm. We went where she could not. After Beatrix. I was tired of the position and wanted to return to the Seekers. But Justinia convinced me to stay. Her vision for the future gave me hope. Yeah, she did she have a good really plan. Justinia knew the war was coming. Or at least her heart was in the right place. She tried to avert it. But the forces arrayed against her were too strong. Sometimes you have to break a bone so it can be reset. That's where the Inquisition comes in. It was to be the answer. A means to preserve as well as an agent for change. I only wish she had lived to see it. So, what's the story about you becoming the right hand? Curious. Sweet Andraste, do you really want to hear that? Yeah. It was, what, 18, 20 years ago? 
Some still discuss it like it happened yesterday. The tale gets bigger each time it's told. I barely recognize myself within it now. Don't be modest. Sure you'll just Tell be me modest. about it. <laughs> I was there. I think I know what happened. To hear others tell it, I alone saved Divine Beatrix from a horde of dragons sent to assault the Grand Cathedral. Mm. Rather impressive for such a young seeker, wouldn't you say? And the truth is? I stumbled upon a conspiracy to kill Beatrix. A Templar Knight Commander was at its heart. And there was a dragon battle at the Grand Cathedral that I had help from loyal mages who rallied to the cause. They freed the dragons from magical control. Without them, the Divine and I would both have died. Yet I became the right hand, mm. and they are forgotten. That's still a big deal. What happened to the mages that helped you? They went back to their circles, with rewards and privileges and most holy gratitude. Okay. Many of them died at the conflict. Oh, well. That's horrible. That's sad. I think you're a hero, no matter how you downplay it. Fine. But it was 20 years ago. I will not rest upon my laurels. Alrighty. I'll let you get back to work. She's a very determined character. I like that she is humble. And she has, um... I'd say she has strong morals. She has dignity. Let's check on um, this frozen lake over here. <laughs> I do like the frozen lake. Let's let's walk around and say hi to the nugs. <laughs> Check out the blacksmith. Is there anything else inside his hut? I think we've checked it before, but oh, it's always nice to see if there is the added anything since we left. Since we were last here. Clissa thought you and your men might be working up at first. She sent me over to see if you needed anything. We're fine, thank you. Okay. Let's see if we have any oh. <laughs> The Kunari equipment, their armor, they, they, they can be a bit too revealing. Um, shocking to see on my character. <laughs> it seems that we don't have any upgrades. I thought we picked up some. Sadly, we don't. I'm just, right now I'm just checking if there are any upgrades so that we can, um, you know, install them into our armor but I think the only things we've picked up are Bianca upgrades and we should do that now so that Varix crossbow can be uh, more efficient against enemies here we go let's check oh it seems like <laughs> it seems like we haven't picked up any I maybe it was a uh, a schematic that we picked up, I can't remember. Anything to sell? Um, we can sell this one. I think that is um, a duplicate. Duplicate. We can sell these um, trinkets. They're they're just there to sell to gain some um, some coins. Now we have a thousand and hard fifty. Anything else that we don't need and we should sell. I always sell the duplicates. We don't need that. We actually don't need a guitar right now because um we still don't have the iron bowl. Only he can wear a guitar as a weapon. It is a race specific weapon it seems. Good day to you. Well good day to you too. The Iron Bull. It might take us a few more <laughs> episodes to meet him. Oh, it's the same ambient dialogue. I don't like it when it happens because it breaks my immersion. 
<laughs> no, it's, that's fine. I don't really care much. We've got scattered reports of Tavinta sightings in the hinterlands. Oh, that's bad. Mages. And their servants, yes. Hmm, curious. They might be connected to the attack on the conclave. Assumption scout Palaine. No circle mages ever caused anything like the breach. Fair point. Yeah, there wasn't cast by a circle mage. It's, it's too powerful. We'll need some of your cloth for bandages. And how much is Mother Giselle willing to offer? Can you really put a price on the love of Andraste? Yeah. <laughs> this is for a good cause. We need to help the injured. Here, let's buy some um, upgrades for Bianca. Let's, I don't know which ones are good. <laughs> let's just buy all of them. I don't know. Uh, I kind of just bought two of them. Just to test it out. Anything Great. else to say? Are these all the same? You must speak with most everyone here. Um, dialogues, probably. And fear and equal measure. No one really knows what yeah, I, 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 I remember this yeah. line. I, I think no better for you. he doesn't have You've any new dialogues, sadly. Until later. Stay safe. You too. Um, let's check on the huts here. Is there anything else here? I don't think they're gonna be... I don't think they, they're gonna be putting new readables or interactables here. And this was our hut when we were sick. Well, it looks cozy. I like it. as. Bookshelves and stuff. What kind of name is Charter, anyway? Doesn't sound elven. <laughs> I said you could call me that, Scout Palaine. I never said it was my name. You're a bit terrifying at times, Charter. Why? Because you're realizing that every elf you casually call Knife here might have a life you know nothing about. Oh, whoa. You've forgotten about that. In this line of work, we can afford to forget nothing. Mmm. That's what you get. That's what you get. Here, Varric. How are you doing, brother? Can I ask you something, Varric? You want to talk about me? I'm flattered. Also inclined toward extravagant lies. How do you and Cassandra know each other? You heard about the Kirkwall Tantry being destroyed? The guy responsible used to be a friend of mine. The Seeker had questions about that. Yeah, and uh, he's talking about the events of Dragon Age 2. Are you from Ferelden, Ole? Free marches, born and raised in Kirkwall. And despite whatever you've heard, no, Kirkwall's not that bad. Uh, a little I'm bad. I'm not clear on your line of work. You're a merchant? I'm a businessman. My family has a seat in the Dwarven Merchants Guild. Merchants buy and sell goods. Businessmen buy and sell stores. Mm. In my spare time, I manage a spy network, and occasionally, I write books. Okay, some questions here. If you run a spy network, why is Leliana our spy master? To be honest with you, she's just a better spy master. The truly great ones can keep their distance. They don't get attached to their people. Me, I always wind up babysitting my informants and worrying about their families. We're in better hands with her. Yeah, I can see that. He, he, he's a softy. You're an author. What kind of books have you written? I tried my hands at a few genres. Or as Liliana used to say, softy. Hard in high town, <laughs> guards breaking the rules to get things done. The Tale of the Champion is the most famous thing I've written, or infamous maybe. I started a romance serial once, Swords and Shields, but to be honest, I don't have a knack for romances. Most of my stories end in tragedy. Probably that says something unfortunate about me personally. Does that mean you like what sort of sadness? <laughs> Psychoanalyzing. That was just an example. Mostly we invest in money lenders. Ooh. Auction houses, a few mercenary companies, a couple of smithies. I think we own half a beet plantation in Ravane somewhere. Business. Most of that's my brother's doing. 
Bartrand had business sense. Not much tact, but loads of business sense. Tell me about Bianca. Where did you get that crossbow? I've never seen one like it. Bianca? She's one of a kind. I won her from Paragon Smith Bronco in a game of Wicked Grace. She was such a sore loser. Ran off to the deep roads in a huff, and that was the last anyone saw of her. Um. <laughs> I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> And the reason for that is? Complicated. Mm -mm -mm. It's the one story I'll never tell. We just have to leave it at that. Thanks, Beric. No problem. Uh, mystery. They all have their secrets. I can understand. We've just met. But eventually, they're gonna warm up to us and they will reveal their secrets. They're juicy secrets. Here, tell Mother Giselle that this is as much as I can spare. Make her bless you. Okay, let us try to install. Um, yeah. Oh, what is this quest? Okay, yeah, we might be able to do that. Let's try to install the um, updates that we purchased. Okay, we didn't re respond to that for some reason. <laughs> Let's see, Barrick, Bianca, we've got grip, a grip and arms. 30 Bianca grip. Okay, is that it? Don't we have one for arms too? I don't understand <laughs> maybe we didn't buy anything for the arms okay we've completed a quest which is just to upgrade upgrade um a weapon or armor anything you can spare will help the wounded okay let's proceed Anyone else to talk to here or any new interactable? Let's go visit our tavern. Fix the door just like you asked, Blitter. I'll make a bless you. Can I get you something for your trouble? Master Harriet said I should go back right away. Find me still searching. Yeah. Here we go, another tavern song. Okay. I'm not ready for that kind of love. That is, unless that's what you want. Um. I mean, I'm flitting. Awkward. Can I get you a drink? Uh, please, please, just relax. There's no need to fret. I'm just a regular person. I wouldn't mind. As I said, I'm flitting. The Inquisition soldiers needed a place to unwind, so Leliana brought me in to set up a tavern. Nothing fancy. But it's safer for the soldiers than looking for trouble in some village. How did you know her? You seem familiar. You said Liliana asked you to run an Inquisition tavern. How did you meet? Dumb luck, maybe. I managed an inn back in Denerim. When I heard interesting gossip, I passed word to Liliana. Sometimes it was helpful. She asked if I wanted to own my own tavern, and I said yes. I didn't realize she meant this. Okay. What can I find here? Is what this the same dialogue as last time? Yeah, it's the exact same dialogue. It's, it's interesting. Some of them have some new dialogue. Oh, this is my favorite song. <laughs> Once we were not afraid of the dark. Oh, I love this song so much. Once we ran through the fields with great strides, we held the fate in the demon's flight so far 
from our children and from our lives. We have to gather the fragile sky to keep our way of A little karaoke session there. <laughs> A verse about that an elf in the chant of life. <gasps> Blasphemy! <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, we have Solus here. Let's Closing spend some time with him. Goal. But I hope we might also discover what was used to create it. Mm, I don't the know. <laughs> the destruction of the conclave proves that much. You don't think whatever created the explosion was destroyed in the He's blast. so interested in whatever no, created it. The artifact that created the breach is unlike anything seen in this age. I will not believe it destroyed until I see the shattered fragments with my own eyes. He doesn't want it to be destroyed, that's the truth. We would do well to try to recover whatever created the breach. Liliana's people have scoured the area near the blast and found nothing. Whatever the artifact was, it is no longer there. In any case, yeah, someone took it. Need me for anything? Um, let's ask him a few questions. Tell me about the what fade. You know about the fade? A great deal, from my wondering. There are a few hard facts that I can share what I've learned. Okay. About the breach. I'd like to know more about the breach. Simply put, it is a tear in the veil between this world and the fade, allowing spirits to enter the world physically. Small tears occur naturally when magic weakens the veil, or when spirits cluster at an area that has seen many deaths. Interesting. Your mark allows you to exert some control over the breach. That means it was created deliberately. Hmm. Yes, like it was. About the veils. Circle mages call it a barrier between this world and the Fade, but according to my studies in ancient elven lore, that is a vast oversimplification. Without it, imagine if spirits entered freely. The Fade was not a place one went, but a state of nature like the wind. But how about the demons? I mean, okay, that that's interesting, it but... Like it would be wonderful. And dangerous, but yes, a world where imagination defines reality, where spirits are as common as trees or grass. Instead, spirits are strange and fearful, and the Fade is a terrifying world touched only by mages and dreamers. I am glad that I'm not alone in seeing the beauty of such a world. Along with the obvious peril. About demons. I'd like to know more about demons. The Chantry says that demons hate the natural world and seek to bring their chaos and destruction to the living. But such simplistic labels misconstrue their motivations and in so doing, do all a great disservice. Spirits wish to join the living. Yes. And a demon? Did that wish gone wrong? That, that was something that we touched upon in Is our previous a coexist? episode. To live with them. If not in peace, at least without such active confrontation. Not in the world we know today. The veil creates a barrier that makes true understanding most unlikely. But the question is a good one. And it matters that you thought to ask. We'll talk later. Goodbye. He does like it when we, um... When we ask him questions. He likes sharing his experiences and opinions and knowledge. He likes listening to his own voice. <laughs> I had to use different herbs than usual in these poultices. It's the best we've got. Hello, you Mr. Alchemist. The maker will provide. Thank you. You're back. And in one piece. Oh, yeah. I just remembered. We picked you up said you thought Master Tatum these was notes. Working on something special. If it helps, I found his notes. Well, I think that was like a few episodes ago. <laughs> couldn't see it. You want some of these mixed up? You just give the word. Alrighty. How are things? How are your people holding up? We've got Mother Giselle lending a hand. Okay, now there's a new dialogue. For the ones that need comforting more than actual healing, she's a rock in fast water. Something to cling to. Okay. Farewell. Good to know <laughs> that Mother Giselle has been doing some great work here. Any potions to research? 
we have that increase duration increase healing would be more beneficial i think with regeneration potions we do need a lot of um materials this is why we try to pick up resources while we're in the field potions um, I think I'm okay currently, but let's look at our um, companions. They do have their own potions. Let's replace that with a Lyrium potion. Because he is a mage after all. He does he? He needs more magic sometimes. Hey, what is all the commotion here? Your kind killed the most holy. Oh my. Lies. Your kind let her die. Shut oh, your oh, mouth. Oh, 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 oh. Enough. Night captain. That is not my title. We are not Templars any longer. We are all part of the Inquisition. And what does that mean exactly? Back already, Chancellor. Troubles brewing. I'm curious, Commander, as to how your Inquisition and its Herald will restore order as you've promised. Of course you are. Back to your duties, all of you. Okay. I'm glad that that didn't result in a full-blown um, fist fight or worse. Call the Templars, just like the rest of you. Even down in Orzammar? Friend. I've never even seen Orzammar. The dwarves yes. don't have Yes, um, Orzammar so is the kingdom of the dwarves. Um, it's located deep underground. But, like Varric, there are many surface dwarves. Tell Master Herrick that ore doesn't grow on trees. Yes, Mom. I think he knows, Mom. He talked about how we have to dig it up. Oh, my. <laughs> That's not what she meant. <laughs> Uh, I don't think we have any new dialogue with her. Okay, we do need four more Velveteen. They're kind of rare. We do pick them up from um, enemies. I'm not sure if, if animals like Fennec and Nug might actually um, give us more Velveteen, but I don't want to harm Innocent animals, rather. Mages and Templars were already at war. Now they're blaming each other for the divine's death. And that is not Which very is good. We require a proper authority to guide them back to order. Who? You? Random clerics who weren't important enough to be at the conclave. Oh, the burn. And of Andraste. I think not. We're not that bad. I don't know. The Inquisition seems about as functional as any young family. We're helping Our refugees. ...are on the verge of splitting into open warfare with themselves. Yes, because that would never happen to the Chantry. Centuries of tradition will guide us. We are not the upstart eager to turn over every apple cart. Oh my... <laughs> why are you even Remind here? <laughs> you why you're allowing the Chancellor to stay. Clearly, your Templar knows where to draw the line. He's toothless. Yeah. No he's point turning him he's all bark, no bite. Mouth. Mm. The Chancellor's a good indicator of what to expect in Val Royo, however. Okay, at least we've got practice. How widespread <laughs> is the violence between mages and Templars? Using him as practice. Say, your organization flouting the Chantry's authority will not help matters. With the Conclave destroyed, I imagine the war between mages and Templars is renewed with interest. The mages and Templars are fighting, even though we don't know what really happened at the Temple of Sacred Ashes. Exactly why all this should be left to a new divine. If you are innocent, the Chantry will establish it as so. Oh or we'll my. be happy to use someone as a scapegoat. Exactly. You think nobody cares about the truth? We all grieve Justinia's loss. But you won't grieve if the Herald of Andraste is conveniently swept under a carpet. Yeah. I'm just a nobody to them. I'll make sure they see reason in Val Royo. I pray you're right. We'll deal with these 
Chantry fool. <laughs> we'll deal with the likes of this guy. Oh. Okay, someone spray. Anything new in the chantry? Hi, Mother Giselle. To care for this many refugees, revered mother. The maker will provide us with a way. Quarter Master Thren said she'd be up all night finding enough blankets for everyone. That may be the way the Maker provides. These truths the Maker has revealed to me. As okay. there is but one God, one Greetings, life, one Herald death. Ondrasse. There is but How far is your God, quest to seal the breach? Is our maker. Um, we're doing our best. <laughs> doing everything within my power. A task such as closing the breach is a heavy burden. I hope you do not carry it alone. No, I've got we'll companions. Ondrasse. But Andraste did not carry the chant of light alone. She had generals, advisors, even her husband for a time. Do everything within your power, but remember those who would help you. Oh, thank you I for appreciate your insight, Mother Giselle. Your advice. Take it for whatever it is worth. You walk a difficult path, and there is little enough I can do to aid you. In any case, I pray this Inquisition proves less brutal than its predecessor. Mm. Yeah, Can you tell a little history the lesson. Original Inquisition. The original Inquisition was formed after the first blight, well before the Chantry as we know it. The Inquisitors were hunters and mm -hmm. zealots who tracked and killed cultists and dangerous mages. Okay, it's a good cause. As Andraste rose to power, the Inquisition came into her service. Instead of hunting those who would do harm, the Inquisitors Okay, that's not very good. It must be difficult to follow the chant. That, that's a quick 180. <laughs> Indeed. I have always believed that the Maker wished us to spread the chant of light. By example, not violence. In any case, once the chant of light had spread far and wide, there was less need for zealots. The Inquisitors became the seekers of truth. And eventually the Templars. Okay, so why did the divine the decide to bring us back? The divine to revisit. Do you know what impresses me most about the original Inquisition? They fought horrific battles, killed and died for their cause, and when it was time, they put their swords away. Perhaps the name was Divine Justinia's message. That when the Inquisition is needed, it will strike without mercy. But when its work is done, it will put its sword away. Okay. That that is I think that's Do you know who the Grand decent? Cleric will choose as the next divine? It is a difficult decision. All the obvious candidates perished with Divine Justinia at the Conclave. The Grand Clerics are terrified of the Inquisition. They will not decide soon, and I fear they will not decide wisely. Whoever is chosen needs the Inquisition's support. No one else seems likely to seal the Probably page. someone from within the Inquisition. How, How is everyone doing, Mother? The they are scared, of course. Many have lost homes or loved ones. I doubt many will sleep well until you have sealed the breach. I have offered what help I can. The rest is for the Inquisition. What more do you wish to know? Um, how are people doing here? How are the villagers in Haven doing? They are terrified. Many of them came here because the war between the mages and the Templars destroyed their homes. In their minds, the death of the Divine has destroyed any chance of peace. To that, at the breach. Farmers have fled their fields. If we do not restore order, half of Thedas may starve. We really need to do something about the breach then. As well as what are you doing to help these people? Um, the war in the hinterlands. My and I have been tending to the injured as best we are able. Some refugees come with food, while others arrive empty-handed. I have helped ensure that all have enough to eat. Beyond that, many simply wish the familiar comfort of the chant of light. It is little enough work to offer some comfort to those in pain. Okay, how about the people everywhere else? Do you have else? information on people elsewhere? The refugees in the hinterlands are desperate. Without help, starvation or war will claim many lives. Mm. Villagers in Crestwood, 
are besieged by their own dead. Oh they have my. sent word begging for assistance. People are vanishing in the hills of Empress de Lyon. It may be demons or something worse, but they are terrified. Okay. More than that, I cannot say. It is a chaotic time for all in Olay and Farrell. Um, those two other areas Farewell. that she mentioned Farewell. are two other explorable maps that we will be visiting much, much, much later after we're done with the hinterlands. The Inquisition cannot remain ambassador if you can't prove it was founded on Justinia's orders. This is an inopportune time, Marquis. More of the faithful flock here each day. But allow me to introduce you to the brave soul who is this? Her life to slow the this guy with a mask. Sir Trevelyan, may I present the Marquis Durellion, one of Divine Justinia's greatest supporters. And the rightful owner of Haven. Oh. How's Durellion lend Justinia these lands for pilgrimage? This inquisition is not a beneficiary of Are this arrangement. Are we being... Um... This is removed. the first I've heard of Haven having an owner outside the chantry. <laughs> removed from this wife, land. Lady Machin of Denver, as claimed to Haven by ancient treaty with the monarchs of Ferelden. We were honored to lend its use to divine Justinia. She is a... She was a woman of supreme merit. I will not let an upstart order remain on her holy grounds. Please don't evict us. But, yeah. Of course. Um... Well, let's go with the first People one. People have been injured. You can't just turn them out onto the snow. And who benefits if they stay? Divine Justinia, Marquis. The Inquisition, not the Chantry, is sheltering the pilgrims who mourn her. Why is the Chantry ignoring the faithful? Because it remains in shock. <sighs> we face a dark time, Your Grace. Divine Justinia would not want her passing to divide us. She would, in fact trust us to forge new alliances to the benefit of all no matter how strange they might seem what say you or legion noble i'll think on it lady montillier the inquisition might stay in the meanwhile oh okay <laughs> good thing we weren't just evicted does he really own Haven? Do the Durillions actually have a claim on this place? His grace's position is not so strong as he presents it. Okay. Despite our Ferelden relations, the Durillions are Orlesian. If the Marquis wishes to claim Haven, Empress Selene must negotiate with the Ferelden on his behalf. Her current concerns are a bit larger than minor property disputes. Hmm. Well, sorry for barging in. I apologize for the intrusion. I didn't realize you were meeting with the Marquis. You did little harm. In truth, the debate was most beneficial as practice for those to come. Oh, no. You expect more people in Haven. Practice. Undoubtedly. And each visitor will spread the story of the Inquisition after they depart. We have to welcome dignitaries? Sure the tale is as complimentary as possible. Okay, let's ask her. Um, how did you land this job? <laughs> What brought you to work for the Inquisition? Sister Leliana approached me. We've been acquainted for quite some time. For better or worse, being the Inquisition's diplomat has become as interesting as she promised. Okay, where you come from? What sort of dealings have you had with nobility? For some years, I was the royally appointed court ambassador from Antiva to Orlais. Oh wow, that sounds very Deda prestigious. Is a rather singular sphere. Those I'm not acquainted with, I know through reputation. Okay. I think you're the, the best fit for the job. <laughs> Lady Montillier. Thank you. Let us hope so. Thedas's politics have become agitated as of late. I hope to guide us down smoother paths. But please excuse me. I've much work to do before the day is done. Okay. Thank you for your insight, Josephine. What may I do for you? What do the people make of us? Despite our fame, we're low on steadfast allies. We must aim for okay, more. Okay, we need to. Any visiting dignitaries make connections. Watch out for? Sir Griffith of Denerim, a most distinguished knight of the realm. He's defeated dark spawn, slain demons, chased down abominations. Just don't ask him about it over dinner. 
He spares no detail. Oh really? We already have a guest. I don't Great. think I've seen anyone. Okay, let's ask her. Might be more pressing Tell questions. <laughs> I'd been considering leaving my post in Antiva for a new challenge when Leliana recruited me. There's such unrest in Tedas, and the Inquisition seems a promising method to stop it. It's to everyone's benefit if we prevent the Mage Templar conflict from spreading further. It's very true. Is that why you signed so was up? was it the prospect of stability that drew you here? The full impact of the Mage Rebellion has yet to be felt. And that was before the death of the Divine. The violence must be curbed before we see it turn to full-scale war. That is true. It is necessary. Um, yeah. I absolutely agree. I can only imagine the bloodshed if it escalates further. I'm afraid history holds many examples of what will happen if it does. Keeping order is of utmost importance. How do you and Liliana know each other? We moved through similar circles in your life. I believe we actually met in Valroyo. Leliana was quite an accomplished player of the game by then. In the game. What exactly do you mean when you say the game? Ah, forgive me. The game refers to the slow duels of influence among the noble and powerful of Orlay. It's a rather light-hearted name for the matter, but our legions are fond of playful touches. Okay. Um, that reminds me of <laughs> the game in Tell Fallout. Me, do you believe I was saved by Andraste at the, the great of game? Ashes? I should much like to believe so, Your Worship. The miracles Andraste performed were so long ago, they're difficult to picture. If it were truly her and the fate who saved you, and in any case, many already believe you walk in the Maker's light. Okay, that helps our cause, even what if it's a bit manipulative. <laughs> We began as merchants. My ancestors founded the first trade route to Rivain. Mm, interesting. We once sent entire fleets across the Waking Sea. Once? Before? But not anymore. Ah, no. Uh, these days, our vessels are a touch more modest. Oh, here we have a, a unique dialogue option because we are a noble. Perhaps. Everyone of distinction in the free marches attends Lady Trevelyan's summer balls. Oh. Great Aunt Lucille always did love a party. I don't recall seeing you at any of them. Um, uh, I like to be free. Attend one ball and you'll fend off invites for a dozen more. That reminds me. The Herald of Andraste has received several invitations from the curious. To parties? How many? Wow. <laughs> Only 17. Month. Only 17. What did that you is a lot. Here? I had the great honor of serving Antiva's crown as ambassador to Orle. Yep, yeah, she mentioned I'm that already. I'm also first in line to become the head of House Montillier, though my siblings attend to our mercantile affairs. Mm. How strong are your oh, Okay, that that's not a good question. That's a bit too aggressive. To fully commit to the Inquisition. We cannot fall back on borders. Antiva is as threatened as any country by the rebellions. If anything, the alliances I forged there may help our current cause. It's not good to accuse her of <laughs> doing Do this for her nation. Continue after we seal the breach. If we prove ourselves by healing the breach, people may turn to us for other things. Protection, counsel, justice. The Inquisition offered these ones to okay. those in need. Interesting. Let's speak later. Thank you Another so much. Time. Miss Josephine, back to your work. It's nice that we have someone very adept um, as an ambassador. Okay, let's talk to her. The Herald, or well, the one they're calling the Herald, anyway. I hope the Inquisition can restore order soon. I never really wanted to leave the Circle. My name is Maneve. I research demons and other creatures. Seeker, Pentagas, and I use what I find to help the soldiers fight them. All right. You are an elvish you mage. You were a mage. No, just an apprentice. I was never very good at magic. I've got just enough talent to be a danger to other people. Mm. But when the mages rebelled, people like me had nowhere to go. The Templars would have killed us. So she's more Stop of an me. academic. Seeker Pentagas took me in, along with the tranquil I was protecting. Mm. 
Research. You said Cassandra has you researching creatures. Yes. If you find anything interesting in your travels, I'd appreciate you bringing it to me. Okay. I, may be able I think to we've picked up a few. Our soldiers can exploit when fighting various creatures. That's helpful. At the least, some materials are useful for making potions or gear for the Inquisition. Yeah, why didn't you join the rebels? I'm surprised that even an apprentice mage wouldn't join the rebellion. I don't like using magic to fight. I'm not good at it either. I like studying. I like performing rituals that helped us unlock the secrets of the veil. I liked having the Templars around to keep us safe. Okay. Uh Yeah, I think Mages they can protection. be helpful. I wish more of them could see that. The circles can be helpful in a way. I lived there until my magic manifested. Mm. The Dalish cannot risk having too many mages in one clan. And I was one more than they could bear. So they she was an... sent me into the woods oh to find my. my own life. I was seven years old. She was outcast by her own tribe. I'm so sorry. I stumbled into a village, starving and cold a few weeks later. I started using magic to scare predators away. The villagers saw me make fire in my fist. They were terrified and wanted to kill me. Templars saved me from them. They gave me mm. food and clothes and took me to the circle. Well, I can I'd see why she trusts the, the Templars. Templars. I want no part of it. I just want to study. Okay. A tranquil. We were kind of talking about it a little the if, uh, a few episodes yes. ago. The mages took some of them when my circle rebelled. The rest were forgotten. Most circle mages look down on the tranquil, or try to pretend they don't exist. They don't have any emotions. They can barely take care of themselves, can't defend themselves at all. It's a shame. I like them better than most people. That's nice that you are friendly toward them. they have someone who cares about them. They deserve better. They're polite, they're rational, and they'll never get angry at you. When they study, they have a focus no normal person could ever match. But the Templars, even some of the mages, mistreated them just because they could. The Tranquil mm. never fought back. If not for that, I... I don't know. Yes, they are really a very now. misunderstood... Um, misunderstood... Kind of, like, type Why of mage. Why did you decide to research dangerous creatures? I like the outdoors. The idea of the outdoors, anyway. When some monster is coming at you, glowing eyes and burning claws, it's terrifying. But once you know how it works, you can deal with it. It's just another part of the world. Yeah, that is a so worthy cause. Only frightening because we don't understand. That is a very good reason to do research. I found something the demons left behind. Can you use it? Yes, that's very helpful. Just leave it there and the tranquil and I will examine it. Okay. Are they not allowed to we will study that. call the tranquil by name? <laughs> that just sounds so sad if like it feels anything, so please inhumane please tell me if you find something yeah. i think we've already As turned in all stuff i don't see any dignitary here i think they should be like kind of like standing somewhere in the main hall of the chantry but i don't see anyone here yet Let's take a look at the dungeon. Is there anyone here? No, we don't have prisoners yet. Although we did complete the requisition for prisoner cages. But it seems that we haven't really imprisoned anyone from the hinterlands. I thought that we would be, you know, imprisoning renegade templars, apostate mages, and uh, interrogating them for information or just imprisoning them for doing bad things <laughs> uh but instead we're unaliving all of them <laughs> for some reason <laughs> here this place is empty it's just a place for people to sleep okay let's summon our war council anything else any other oh Okay, that's just a requisition. I don't think 
it's within Haven, actually. It's it's just a requisition in the hinterlands. We can fill them up once we're done. I think there's nothing else to do in Haven. No one else to talk to. Let's continue with... Um, okay, we can do some operations. Op operation missions. They take time and bring the Inquisition resources and rewards. Only one mission per advisor can be active at a time. Some missions have a preferred type, which okay. We can assign one of our three advisors to any of the missions. Did you see the message I sent? Yes, thank you. Okay, we do have one Inquisition perk here, and we can choose these kind of like abilities or perks. Um, we have Eagle Eyed. Okay, we got Scout Ritz, whom we um, recruited in the hinterlands. Um, she now gathers intelligence and she employs her wit and charm to coax secrets from targets. It reduces 5%. By 5%, the time it takes for Liliana to complete her missions. I think we might benefit from, let's see, what does this have? History knowledge, detailed study of Thetis' past, new dialogue options. Um, I think this would be best for now, additional potions. We will benefit most from that at the moment. I mean, additional dialogue options are always good, but it's more of a lore. Thing. We do have Lord Barand here. Uh, he has fledged a sword and those of his forces to the Inquisition. Addition of these soldiers bolsters the Inquisition forces. Reduces by 5% the time it takes for Colin to complete an operation. Um, we don't have any recruit under um, Josephine just yet. But Lord Barand is the person that we recruited from the cult. Um... Headquarters. I still call them called headquarters. I don't know what it's called or what their cult is called anyway. Uh, back in the hinterlands. We do have this rescue soldiers missing in Feraldin. I think that is important. They've gone missing in the marshy reaches of this of southern Feraldin because the region is largely uncharted. Finding them will be difficult. Um uh, which advisor should we use for this? Uh, I think Liliana. A few scouts will move more quickly, but then with Colin, we have soldiers who are very willing to look for their comrades. Maybe Liliana. I feel like that's like, like uh, the best choice. The missing soldiers have been found in a bog called Follow Mire. They are being held hostage by the Avar. He demand to meet the Herald of Andrasi if the Inquisition wants to see its people alive again. Um, this is an explorable map. We are not going there just now. But at least we know where the missing soldiers are being held up. Up until now, Inquisition forces have had the benefit of the ch Chantry's deep coffers. Now the Inquisition is forced to seek out its own resources of revenue. Our sources of revenue if it's going to, s to grow f further. We can use Josephine... Um honest work. Okay. At your service. I think trading in favors might be good. It has something to do with money. Let let Joseph and uh Josephine handle it. This is uh address a nobleman's concern. Your Inquisition says it's good is for order against chaos, reason and darkness. If you stand by this, come forth and drive the heretics from my lands. They claim to be refugees, but I have seen elves and apostates among them. Filthy savages. Tearing at our roots. Our monarch refused to send forth armies and my own lives were decimated at a conclave. I require your aid to return peace to my lands. Um I don't think we should do this. Oh. Yeah. I think we'll do, um, we'll assign Josephine, but she's busy right now. We have the Tarnir of High Ever, which is to convert, uh, convey our deepest sympathy sympathies on the death of Divine Justinia V. The Most Holy was incomparable in her wisdom. Um, this is from Tarn Fergus Kuzland, who, if I'm not mistaken, is our brother from Dragon Age 1, if we chose to be a noble human. 
um, we would be a coos land, if I'm not mistaken. And, um, yeah. Uh, our starting point would be high ever, I think. We will hold a vigil in high ever, remembrance of Just Justinia, and cordially invite the Inquisition to attend. Um, I'm not sure. Who, is, who should we, um... Maybe not now, but we'll think about it. The Black Emporium. Voices on the wind speak of a new power abroad in the world. Inquisition they whisper an ancient name restored, a memory rekindled, and transformed into a blaze of hope. I hear the whispers and summon the fires of the Inquisition. Here in the depths beneath the city of chains, countless mysteries hide in shadow in anticipation of the light. Come, the Black Emporium awaits. Seen on the antiquarian, must spend his days composing melodramatic invest invitations to his establishment. I imagine being stuck in a chair for centuries leaves one somewhat lacking for entertainment. This particular message was hand-delivered by a cloaked figure at twilight. Precisely as the sun disappeared beneath the peaks, my men spied the courier lurking about our outer gates for at least an hour waiting for sunset. A servant under the command, okay. That aside, I would encourage a visit to the Black Emporium. Um, he has a legendary horde. Only those who deems, he deems worthy, worthy ever lay eyes on it. The champion of Kirk will receive an invitation once and reported, among other things, a strange mirror that could transform even flesh and bone. Yeah, let us discover it. It's just a place to transform your, you know, your, your image, your character. A sh ship has been secured. And it's also a place where we can purchase like, a few kind of like legendary goods. Okay, we have a deal with uh, deal with relatives of the Trevelyans. Um, dear Lady Montelier, it is true, distant relations of the House Trevelyan are claiming close friendship with the Herald of Andraste. A boast was one matter, but the boundaries of tact and decency appear to be invisible to these mountebanks. During a bond at South Quarter, I witnessed cousin five times removed from Lady Trevelyan's threat. Okay. I think that's like we'll deal with that using Josephine because it is a matter among nobles and she is very well versed in that. Here we have Varric asking um, Josephine for help about his book. Someone seems to be <laughs> kind of like um, pretending or releasing um, Another book. Um, under a different pen name. Because he specifically wrote that uh, to Josephine. I think Josephine should handle that. How about an Orle? Is there anything that we can do here? Investigate the shards from. Um, those that, that mini game thing. The shards acquired by the Herald of Andraste are unlike anything I've encountered. Though ancient in origin, few have been recovered before now. The breach must have disrupted whatever ancient magic was concealing them from view. I have heard of one scroll that mentions the shards that belong to the Circle Tower in Markham. However, okay. If this ancient magic is tied to the breach or can offer some advantage against it, we need to know. Can you get us into that auction? We need Josephine for that. And for some reason, she's available to do this. Maybe because she's the only one <laughs> who can do this. Okay, but thanks to our lady ambassador, I was able to study the scroll. The reference is vague, but it implies a connection to a temple, possibly Elvin. And it's in the western approach in... um. Or lay. As to way what may lie within, I cannot say. Reports of the place are cut off or have pages missing. Okay. Alright, so we have another explorable area. Which we will leave for much later. I think the enemies there might be very high in level. We will um, ignore that for now. At least we know. Where we can uh, basically find the truth about the the shards that we've been picking up during that mini, mini game that we do out in the field. 
it, I don't know why. Maybe it's just my understanding of things. But I feel like there are a lot of those Inquisition war table missions are designed for um, Josephine. <laughs> I'm not sure. Maybe the ones that we've um, picked up so far. Let's just take a look at our journal here to see what other quests we have. We now have quests to visit the Forbidden Oasis, the Fallow Mire, and the Storm Coast because we've spent some... Um, what I mean is we've kind of like discovered these places and we do have quests related to those areas. Um, let's see. Let's power up a little. Let's let's buy some abilities. Um, I think this is probably the best time to end the stream, or rather, this this episode, this video, because we are um we've completed quite a lot. We have mostly talked to our advisors, to our companions, and gotten to know them a little bit better. Right now, we are just kind of, like, preparing for our next episode. Um, hoping that we can kind of, like, complete the Hinterlands very soon. And so that we can set out to uh, explore the other explorable maps, such as the Storm Coast. And that way, we will be able to recruit more companions and see which ones we should be um, using or inviting into our team um, for most of the uh, exploration and combat uh, parts of the game. I am excited to try out each of the other companions that we will be recruiting, but I think it would be best for us to finish exploring Hinterlands first because I'm not that kind of person who, I don't know, maybe some of you are, who prefer to like just, you know, like go to the next explorable map whenever it becomes available. But I feel like realistically, you would want to spend, like, I don't know, if, if you're in real life, you would probably want to spend a bit more time exploring and completing one place before you move to the next region <laughs> right i don't know um let, let us know in the comments section below like well how do you like to play your game especially games like dragon age inquisition and mass effect where um you are sent to kind of like semi-open world explorable maps do you prefer to um complete exploring each map before moving to another one map before you move to another or do you like going back and forth in uh, between different maps I am very interested to learn about your opinions or hear, uh, hear your thoughts about it um, that is it for us today uh, in our next episode we will keep doing what we can do <laughs> in the hinterlands and uh, I will see you the next time we have a new episode. See ya!